What's up everyone? It's Leanne V and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I am really excited to do this video for you because I've been getting a lot of requests on how I do my loose waves. So this is an everyday simple loose waves look that I'm going to do for you. So let's get started. All right, first things first, I use a T3 wand. I love this wand because you can actually detach different um, sizes. So this one is a one inch wand and they have like so many different options that you can use. And I love this because it gets really hot and it's such a cute wand. Like I love the white rose gold color. So I mean, it's such a cute wand and it does its job. That wand is getting hot. I brush through my hair like so. When I do my hair, I do things a certain way where depending on if my hair is just washed. So right now my hair is freshly washed and I didn't even straighten it. My hair is naturally this way. Um, I wish it was curly. It's funny because a lot of people that have curly hair wish they had straight hair. People that have straight hair wish they had curly hair. It is what it is. So this is my hair right now. And usually after I wash my hair, depending on what I'm doing, I start off with my hair straight. I'll straighten my hair with a straightener so it's extra pin straight. And then the next day I do the loose waves. And then that's when I start putting my hair up because my hair gets gross throughout the week. My hair does get greasy fast and sometimes I'll just use dry shampoo. Basically, I wash my hair every three to four days because I feel that my hair gets really dry and I don't want to overwash my hair. Especially having colored hair, I don't want to overwash my hair because I feel like my hair is already dry as it is from the bleach and coloring, so I try my best to not wash it all the time. All right, let's get started. Quick and easy, everyday loose waves look. So the iron is hot now. I brushed through my hair. Now I'm going to section it. I like section sectioning my hair, so I'll usually pin or clip back half of it and then I get started so here we go brush again I like getting small pieces like this and sometimes I'll do like thicker pieces depending on what kind of look I want so I take the curling iron and what I do I will twist it around and then I leave it literally a few seconds and just pull it and it's a loose weight what so what I am trying to accomplish here is that you don't want it to be a perfect curl because it takes away from it looking like a natural curl. You want it to be a natural wave and you don't want it to be on your hair too long for it to have that real tight curl and you want the ends to be a little bit straight. So that's the first curl and then like so we're going to do the same thing. When I'm in a hurry you'd be surprised I can curl my hair really fast. So. Sometimes I'll curl it away and some pieces I'll, I'll curl it towards me, but majority of my curls are curling away. So I do like one, two seconds and then I pull. Then now you can take down the other pieces and push that back and there you go. So same thing from the front, you're gonna twist it around the wand, just a couple seconds you're gonna pull. And voila, this is a good one. I like that. I think I love loose waves just because it just really complements, you know, your face. Like it's just nice and beautiful and it just falls nicely on your face. Like straight is cute. It just depends on the outfit, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Here I go again. Rambling because I'm hungry. All right, here we go. <laughs> so I'm taking this piece. I am twisting it around like so. One, two, three, and pull. So this one I am going to curl towards me. One, two, three, and pull. I do a lot of thinner pieces at the top, but for the bottom underneath, like the bottom section of my hair, I take more thicker pieces. Just because like, I feel like you don't have to do really small pieces all around. You can kind of cheat that look of like certain strands like this right here like this whole section right here I would just cut this in half actually see for example I'll part this I can actually take this thick piece curl it one two three I pull 
and then the, this piece up here I'll just split it into two so I do more thin pieces in the top and then I do thicker pieces at the bottom one. so there you go and that is one side what if I go out like this <laughs> make a new trend half straight half curly <laughs> So that is done. I don't brush through it just yet. I kind of did. Usually I, I don't touch it. I'll leave it just like this so it can sit in the curl. And I'll push that back and I'll pull this forward and I will section this again. done the lower section and we have the top section left the thing I love about this hairstyle too is that it can last up to a few days like I'll wear my hair like this for a few days and then I'll probably put it halfway up and then or even on a, a messy bun and I'm actually going to be doing a messy bun tutorial actually different buns because a lot of people love how I do my buns especially when I work out with my hair um, in a bun they're like how do you keep your bun snatched through your entire workout so I'm going to do a bun tutorial also but yeah like I love the fact that once you do these loose curls loose waves you can try different hairstyles you can put your hair half up half down you can wear your hair all up and let the loose waves just be the cute ponytail there's just so many things you could do with your hair Another crazy thing that people may not know about my hairstyles and what kind of hairstyles I did in the past, I've shaved half of my head before. Like, half of my head. So I used to be a backup singer for this artist named Dev. I wanted to look more edgy, so I shaved half of my head when it was like a trend. I can't believe I did that. I'm actually going to look for a picture. Um, if I find it, it's right there. But yeah, I... I shaved half of my head, you guys, and it grew really fast. And I mean, I don't think I'll ever do it again, but I think that it's, you know, it's like a cool thing to, you know, say that I did just to say that I did it. But, you know, I think overall, if you're, if you've never dyed your hair, if you've never done anything crazy with your hair, the good thing is that your hair will always grow back. Don't feel like you shouldn't try different styles just because you're afraid. It's always good to try different looks just to switch it up. Switch it up, it makes you feel good. You feel like a new person when you do your hair different, which is why I do different wigs. I wear multiple wigs also because it protects my hair too, so I don't have to keep dyeing it because sometimes I'll want to be a brunette and be super dark or just have jet black hair. I'll just throw on a wig because if you dye your hair, black and then blonde then black and then blonde your hair is literally gonna fall out and let me just tell you i am guilty of that my hair started falling out and i was freaking out because i didn't think my hair would because my hair was so strong like my hair used to be so long and healthy and full and beautiful and you know it's thinned out through the times of just me dyeing my hair so much but yeah i encourage you guys if you are interested in dyeing your hair for the first time you know i'm i think that you know you live once and if you want to try something you should try it and see if you like it because i dyed my hair and look my hair is still light and i'm obsessed with light hair like i want my hair light all the time but again sometimes i miss my dark hair so that's when i pop on my wig so all right you guys this is all curled so my next step is i brush through the curls with my fingers like this my fingers and nails and what i'm doing is i'm breaking up the curls so they can appear fuller so you can see the difference already on how this side looks versus this side. So I do that on the left side, then I do this on the right side. So I brushed out the curls, and the final step is the best step because this is what's going to make your curls last long. For me, if I didn't hairspray my curls, I feel like they would not stay as long, so hairspray. Hairspray is the last step. 
So this hairspray, I've been using this hairspray for a very long time. I love this hair stay, hair stay. <laughs> I love this hair stay. I want this hair to stay. All right, okay, so I love this hairspray because it holds so well. Like I've tried different hairsprays and my hair never stays as long as when, unless I use this. And this is Tresemme Extra Firm Control Level 4. I'm sure level 5 is just as amazing, but um, I just get level 4 because it's just not the strongest, but it's strong. Um, extra hold. And I love this also because it smells good and it works great. So you shake it up. I actually don't recommend this when you're doing um, different hairstyles in one day. Because let me just tell you, this holds so well that if you were to brush through your hair, it will leave some flakes. Um, honest, honest answer right there. That it, it leaves flakes when you have your hair slicked back in a ponytail and you want it to you know, take it down. Uh, that happened once when I went to um, a shoot and I had my hair slicked back in a ponytail and I used this hairspray. Let me just tell you, my ponytail was so snatched. It looks, and it looked amazing. But when I wanted to brush it out and do like another hairstyle, my hair got so flaky. So I don't recommend this if you want to switch up your hairstyles at a shoot, but it does do such an amazing job with curls. I'll hold it up and I'll spray. And as I'm spraying, I'm dropping. And look at that. This holds like glue, like you can just see. And you can still brush through it, of course. It's not gonna flake with your curls when you brush through your curls, but I'm just saying when you slick back your hair, it does, but this doesn't. Like I can take this brush and brush through and it's not going to. Cause I literally do it the next day. The next day and it becomes more loose, curly. And I like the look. I actually like the next day look because it's even more loose and it looks natural. And I'll brush through it again cause my, my curls tend to get stuck together so I always like to separate the curls and then I grab the hairspray just like that like look at that it really works all right so I'm gonna do it this side hairspray is complete sometimes I'll flip my hair over and I'll sometimes turn around and do this whole thing in the back just make sure I get all of it if you want to change the part you could do that too and voila, this is it. This is the everyday loose curls, super easy. Um, I feel like I can do this look in 10 minutes if you just wanna do some quick and easy loose curls. But I love it so much, it's really fun to do. I get a lot of compliments every time I do it. I feel like my hair is like this big right now because <laughs> I hairsprayed it really good. So like I was saying earlier, you can easily do like a simple half up do like this. Look how pretty it looks. You get like a little clip. You can even let some bangs down. I mean, when your hair is styled, you can do so many different things to it. You do a little braid. So many different things. Maybe I could do another video of just doing different styles with my loose curls. All right, you guys, so that's it. My easy everyday loose curls look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what other hairstyles that you want me to do, other things that you want me to try. And also, if this helped you out, make sure you let me know as well. Thank you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. And I love you. Peace. That's it.